Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by uh, Matt Christensen, the head boys basketball coach at Linden High School. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Doing well, man. Uh, just kind of talk about how the season's going so far for you guys. Um, it's going okay. Uh, we got off to a rough start. With, um, we went to Lake Fenton, lost the game by 30. It was a good eye-opener for us. Uh, we had a good bounce back home win against Kersley. Feels like we were winning every other game. We had a tough loss at Holly, but then beat a really good Chesney team and uh, ran to Jesse Christian on a hot night. And, uh, we're two and three start. Uh, we're hoping to turn around after the holidays. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So let's just kind of, just kind of talk about where, you know, where you guys are at right now after these first few games. Yeah. Um, I would say we have, we have, we don't have much experience on this team um, returning from last year. Um, we lost a lot of our starters from last year. Obviously I'm a first year coach, so I'm putting in a new system. Um, and I know that it's been a lot of learning um, over break. We were able to kind of get back to the basic fundamentals. Um, get a ball in their hand, do a lot of uh, ball handling, uh, really improve, work on the skill work. Um, and I think we've come a long ways. Um, we're definitely a different team right now than we were game one. So I'm looking forward to how we're looking moving forward. Okay, so uh, talk about um, some of the players that are coming back for you guys and some of the uh, returners that you have. Yep, so um, our uh, main leader on the team, I would say – Obviously, we have our captains, Colin Weiss. Uh, he did play on varsity last year, did not get much minutes, but he's a captain on our team. Unfortunately, uh, Jack Kenny, um, he would have been one of our very key returners, uh, senior. Um, he tore his ACL um, during the Oakland University team camp over the summer, decided to um, try to rehab it. And uh, unfortunately, the first game, he checked in for 30 seconds and felt it pop again, and that was it. So... Um, Jack Kenny would have been a very good, he's one of our captains, uh, seniors that uh, would have been a big help to our team that we lost 30 seconds into the season. Um, our guy right now, Jace Beecher, um, he's a 6'8 sophomore. Um, he is highly rated in the state um, recruiting wise. Um, he's one of our key returnees. Um, he's, he's, he's our go-to guy. We got Joe Miller, you can shoot outside. Um, he's our lighted up from outside guy a um, lot, of, lot of good uh, senior leadership uh, Tyler uh, Willard strong athletic um, guard uh, Bryson uh, Phillips will be starting at point guard next game he's developed a lot uh, worked on the skill work and we got a lot of good underclassmen coming up um, good thing about our team is we're deep I could list everyone <laughs> and keep going and um, we can play 10 guys any night yeah so let's um Let's talk about, you know, the league where you're at right now. I know that the next few games for you guys are, you know, kind of critical for this team. Where, where do you guys, uh, where do you guys think you're at right now? Like where heading into the, heading into these next few games? Cause I think you guys have Oxford on Friday. Yeah. So we have Oxford this Friday, which is a non-league game. It'll be a good um, test on the road um, to get us ready for conference play. We jump back into conference play next Tuesday. Um, we're home against Flushing and then away against Swartz Creek. Um, and those are big league games. Right now we're one and one. Um, we beat uh, Kersley. Um, there's two teams at the top, 2-0 oh, at um, Fenton and Holly, which we lost a close game where we, we had everything go wrong on the offensive side of the ball. We lost a close game right at the end um, at Holly. So we're one and one. They're 2-0. and oh. um, And then us and Kersley are tied for the next spot. So um, they restructured our league this year where top two teams in each division play for the conference type tournament. So um, right now we're sitting third place. Um, so that, that loss to Holly um, is a big one, but we, we can make up for it in the coming game. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's talk about um, just get, you know, what just taking this pro you said you're in your first year. How do you think it's going for you? Um, you know, coaching, coaching a pretty good team. Yep. Um, it's, it's been a learning experience. I, I'm not going to lie about that. Um, there's been some things I've learned already, um, but it's been fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm having the time of my life. Um, we got guys that uh, the easy part about this team is we're a very smart team and we, we come to work every day. They put in the work every day. Um, we had a big football season and a lot of our guys are on the football team. They made a deep run to a regional championship. Um, so I got some of them later on, but those guys came right in and were ready to work. So, um, but with that being said, they hadn't touched the basketball since before uh, football season. So um, there's a lot of getting the rust off and building it. So I think we're at a good spot after break. Um, 
and we're looking forward to moving forward this Friday against Oxford. Yeah, kind of to just talk about the league and how how do you think it's really kind of going? How do you think it's going to go this year? Um, I think uh, we have a really good shot at finishing in the top two. Um, Fenton is a very good um, team. That they, they're probably the team to beat right now. Um, they are, they have a really good win against Torch Creek their last time out. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I mean we're we're one close loss away from being in that second spot right now. <laughs> and uh, cool thing is we have three games against Fenton this year. We are playing them at Little Caesars Arena. So that'll be a fun game um, this year. That was special for the kids. Um, on the flip side of the conference, I think Goodrich is the team to be in the overall conference. Um, I think they're ranked number two in the state in Division II. Um, and they've been rolling, and Corona has been solid on the other side. I think they're still undefeated. So, All right. Um, and then just, um, yeah, and then just these, these next few, what do you want to see out of this team? Um, I just want to see improvement every day. Uh, we talk about it daily, putting in the work every day. We're either getting better or getting worse. Uh, those are the two options we have every day. Um, they've really bought into it. I really think we've improved um, every day. Um, our last time out was not the best way to go into Christmas break. We lost 72 to 42 against Genesee Christian. And we were riding high after a big win over Chesney. And the next day we get thumped. So um, it's been, I think it was another eye-opening um, game for us. Um, they've been working hard all break. Um, every single guy's been out there. Um, I think some of our best practices were over Christmas break, but sometimes the days that guys get kind of lethargic. Um, we've been putting a lot of work over break, and I think we're going to be looking like a different team moving forward. This next stretch of games is very important for the overall um, look of this team. All right. Well, uh, well, Matt, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Best of luck the rest of the season. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.